Hey guys, this is what we're gonna make. Um, let's get right to it. Open massive. Two oscillators, first one's a square, bam. Amp just past three o'clock, no filters. Don't need this. Whoops. Don't need this. Second, uh, normal pitch LFO and a picture of both of these. This one at 0 0.2, this one at 0 0.25. This one's a square saw one with the weight table to the right, so that's a saw. Pitched up one whole octave, so 12 semitones. Uh, classic tube, dry wet there, drive all the way up. Dimension expander a bit to give it some sick width. EQ, put the boost there, frequency there, high shelf up a bit. I just added some macros for myself. You don't need to do that. Amp envelope, just a straight line. Um, so on your LFO settings, X fade curve all the way up with a sine wave. Ratio at 16th, no position, sync and restart on, amp all the way up. That is it for this, except, yeah, there's nothing in voicing. If you do decide to use a bit crush, I'd say put it there. And for oscillator, make sure that this is up three. You can put down three, two if you want, but uh, you don't need to to replicate the MIDI of the actual song. Okay, then put on a Camel Crusher, one of my favorite um, plugins. Makes everything super loud. British Clean Presets dope. Turn off the filter though, that's good. Um, what I did was I looked at this on a spectrum. Saw this fundamental and this fundamental. It's actually not the fundamental because it's bass, but um, it's the fundamental that forming synth part. Actually, what we should do is cut out the sub because we have our own clean sub duplicated here. And so I just boosted 1.66 and 3.32, which is double that, to give it that extra. So that, that high-pitched forming pops out and make sure it's not clipping. Yeah, um, now the MIDI is a, just a straight G-sharp, and here it's an A and a B. Uh, for the pitch bend data, it's all the way up to there, and then it's like half, and it just drops. Last thing that he actually does in the song is he side chains it to his kick and his snare so that it doesn't interfere because it's a fucking huge sound. All right, that's it. Um, actually, you might want to duplicate this track so you have the same pitch bend data, or just you copy over the MIDI, um, the MIDI clip, and make sure it's a nice clean sub. Good. Um, request more tutorials on Deliver. Thanks, guys.